crushing the wave. Your luck infiltrating the Temple of Water does not last long. On exploring a strange room with numerous unopened barrels, Healthy decides to open one and is immediately attacked by a water weird. You deal with it quickly enough, but Moeza inexplicably uses a Toll of the Dead spell to try to kill it, causing a dolorous bell to sound through the area. You all groan inwardly, all except for the deliciously oblivious Mueza, and await the inevitable response from the temple's denizens. This comes quickly, as numerous cultists take position on the far side of a 30-foot long bridge, spanning a canal cutting through the area. Leilun sees a tactical opportunity and drops a sickening radiance on where the enemy is gathering whilst Quirky puts a Guardian of Faith at the centre of the bridge. Both spells have the effect of displacing a hiding troll. It is barely able to escape the toxic area before throwing itself on your swords and being felled. In the meantime, the Radiance is dropping weak cultists like flies, but two more trolls try their luck to no avail. The cultists withdraw to consider another tact hampered by the layout of the tunnels. And you are considering charging ahead when a strange tide moves rapidly down the canal towards you, followed by a gargantuan dragon turtle emerging from its depths to launch onto the landing. You are completely taken by surprise by the appearance of such a powerful creature and are attempting to fall back when it lets loose its breath of scalding steam. Many of you are terribly burned and you realize you may have bitten off more than you can chew. Hoping the Draconic Testudines may not have the energy to blast another jet of steam so soon, you draw down the tunnel at your rear, barely touching the creature with your attacks. Healthy makes a foolhardly attempt to fight it in melee and gets terribly bitten and clawed in response. You back away, but then your fears come true as another scalding breath comes down the tunnel and Leilun takes too much damage to concentrate on her radiance. The spell drops and you hear cries of Bronze Fume! Bronze Fume has done it! before some cultists are already trying to gain ground across the bridge. You do not make it easy for them though, as Bronze Fume recedes into the canal to head somewhere beyond your ken your ranged attacks pick off one cultist after another. Mueza and Jadago both begin to worry that their arrows are running low and feel you need to withdraw. Leilun has already taken some steps towards the tunnel back to the air temple, but is cautious in case Bronze Fume has circled round to block her escape. She steps out into the area that drops towards the lake and is greeted by an immediate bite from the beast. Leilun drops to the ground, dying from her wounds. Mueza spies what has happened to Leilun and is caught between saving the warlock and putting his own fur at risk, or continuing to defend the bridge. He opts for the former, peppering bronze fume with arrows as and when the beast comes into view whilst moving down the tunnel to reach her. Bronze fume does not seem able to repeat his breath attack so by the luck of Timora, Mueza is able to reach Leilun before she expires and heal her to a point where she can still function. Mueza's luck is short-lived though as Bronze Fume lunges at him and deals awful damage that puts him on the ground. So now it is his turn to be dying. As Quirky, Jadago and Helfi thin out the cultists by the bridge, Leilun withdraws down the exit tunnel, which is too small for Bronze Fume, whilst also staying out of the range of his breath. She then begins flinging Eldritch Blasts at the creature, yelling in hope that her comrades can hear her instructions for them to do the same with their own range attacks. They do, and as Bronze Fume withdraws under a barrage of missile fire, the slow moving creature is killed before it can submerge below the surface of the lake. 
The dismay of the cultists is audible, and they begin their own withdrawal. But you do not follow. You are completely depleted of resources, and decide to conduct your own withdrawal to find a place in the exit tunnel to camp under the safety of a layman's tiny hut spell, but not before ensuring Mueza is healed and can continue. Your rest passes swiftly, during which you debate returning to the surface to obtain more arrows. However, that would not be a simple undertaking, given the time and distances involved. Leilun and Helfi argue to continue their assault, with Moeza switching to a crossbow as they have plenty of bolts, their main concern being that the temple denizens could seek reinforcements. Moeza is one round, albeit in the knowledge that he will be less effective with the crossbow, although Judaga reassures him by saying he will protect his cousin at all costs. Fully rested, you head back towards the water temple and are greeted with silence. However, you note several doors or rooms you had previously entered are now closed and so suspect an ambush. Moving sneakily along the same route as before, you discover a band of lizardmen have taken refuge in one of the rooms. There is a quick skirmish and one of them gets off the alarm to raise the temple and it is like deja vu. This time, the onslaught is relentless, but you are helped by the constraining tunnel environment. Leilun and Quirky once again make clever use of sickening radiance and guardian of faith, but it isn't long before the radiance is dispelled, presumably by an approaching enemy. Your battle is epic, and you occupy a corner of the complex, defending a 10-foot tunnel from two different directions. Quirky casts spirit guardians to protect the party, but this is joined by a toxic cloud kill that is stuck in the corner you occupy. What has cast the spell is a strange extra planar insectoid, and you guess it was this that dispelled Leilun's earlier magic. The toxicity is deadly and in danger of draining your health rapidly when this is compounded by the appearance of a Hezru demon. The brute seems resistant to most of your attacks, but you put faith in your deities and rain down hammer blows and spell fire upon the foes that surround you. A chance attack hits the insectoid, a mesoloth, and causes the poisonous cloud to dissipate and the battle begins to turn. Despite crushing wave priests unleashing various hexes in your direction and lizardmen throwing javelins from the canal that deflect off Leilun's alabaster skin, you fell the Hezru, and the Mesoloth soon follows. This is too much for the rest of the cultists, who scream in retreat. The walls drip with blood, ichor, and worse things, but you are alive and ready to dismantle this evil cult, once and forever. Thank you for listening to the progress of my Dungeons & Dragons group as they make their way through the Prince of the Apocalypse campaign setting. Watch out for further episodes, where we shall see the party continue their exploration of the Water Temple in their quest to mop up what's left of the crushing wave.